I know, right? I was talking to a friend of mine. Um, I used to, um, like the drug world, the whole world. Right. You were selling, to using, and all that, you know, full circle. Yeah. I was talking about the guilt. How if I was the only one selling it, and everybody I walked past that looked like they struggling with a drug problem, you know, all that would be um, contributed directly to me. Wow. But since it's thousands, thousands, thousands of us, the guilt is thinned out to the point where we don't really feel it at all. Wow. Now, Holy um, shit, that's so, really powerful, man. Like, like, same thing for that. Like, it is the same the thing. If I was the only person, if I was the only person, yeah. like the CEO of, and, and, and all the guilt was weighing on me, it was crushing. But since... Since the, the just, guilt you know, is shared. Yeah. By All I need is just one person to walk past and dismiss that, and I'll feel a little better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel a little better. I do. And, you know, the more people that walk past, the better I feel. Reality, some people think it's synonymous with morality. Because um, alcohol was um, uh, illegal, too. Yeah. When they made it illegal, it was not only illegal, it was immoral. When they right. legalized it, they moralized it. Exactly. So it's like, okay, the government said it's cool. Well, the nanny said it's cool, so huh. I feel a little better about it. Yeah, but you, you know, believe that we should think for ourselves, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. This is pathetic. But it just seems so big, man. This is a hell of a task. But at least you can stop supporting yeah. it. Yeah. And then you can right. speak up yeah, in I, opportunities where you can. Look at this shit. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, they could have knocked him out first. You motherfucker. Oh, my God. They fight he for their lives. Agonizing. Just like you and I would fight for our lives. If you're against this, uh -huh. you're against exploiting animals, bullying those who are a little bit weaker than us, making them our slaves, if you're against that, then when you're vegan, you just align your actions with those set of values that you hold. So you're not changing anything about who you are, you're just aligning your actions with those set of values. If you buy meat, dairy, eggs, and other animal products, you're saying that this is okay. Yeah. These are the piglets, they get their tails cut off, they get their teeth ripped out without any anesthetic. And they do this so that they don't bite on each other's tails because they lose their minds in these facilities and they start biting each other. So they do that to reduce flesh damage. That's, that's their down, way of addressing it. It all comes down to the dollar. It absolutely hell, does. To hell with the um, pig that's getting bitten in the tail, right? It's not about him. It's about the, it's all about the flesh, right? Yeah. yeah all right. That's See, that's the thing. That's how they think and that's how they view animals. And if we buy their products, we also subscribe to that. What's up, guys? It is Ethy. And I just thought I'd make a video talking about this, shedding some light on this. Um, um, this video that um, Paul Bashir did um, with this one uh, black guy who is, was very intelligent, I must say. And he caught on to you know, veganism, the message why it's wrong to be a non-vegan. He caught on to it pretty fucking, you know, quickly. And uh, I think that this needs to be, you know, sh have some, this needs to have some light shed on it. Because a lot of people, especially African Americans, think that veganism is white people shit. And if you go to VegFest, you'll find a lot of, you'll find a lot more white vegans than black vegans. I have no clue why that's the case. Maybe it's just with... Um, how they're affected by poverty, how, you know, if they're in gangs, if they're, you know, you know, a lot of black people are affected by that sort of thing to the point where they don't really think a lot about animal rights because they're too used to, you know, you know, it, people, even if they're not black, if you're stuck in poverty, you are going to eat a lot more fast food. Fast food is very, you know, meat orientated. Um, as years go on, I'm sure that the, you know, black community and just the you know, impoverished, impoverished, um, or people affected by poverty, um, you know, I think that they will be more um, susceptible to veganism and they will be more open to veganism, as you can see, like the impossible, the Beyond Burger. They don't think that the only option besides that is eating celery, and they also eventually won't think that you have to give up your culture to be vegan, like a lot of African Americans, Mexicans, um, and that sort of thing think uh, because there are vegan alternatives to all of this sort of shit so um, Yeah, it doesn't really make any fucking sense to be like oh, yeah, this is white people shit. This is like um, Not my deal, which I think a lot of black people say it's like no it should be your deal Especially if you know how it feels like to be oppressed You know how it feels like to be discriminated against for no good reason um, you know 
I, I think it makes sense for you to empathize even more with these type of animals um, and these individuals who get discriminated against for essentially no fucking reason. And uh, speciesism is the new racism. Uh, I don't like to compare it, but it really fucking is. We'll look back on speciesism and we'll say, uh, oh my god, this is like so fucking horrible. You know, we're murdering these animals um, for no good reason. We'll look at, and we'll look at it, you know, kind of like how we look back at slavery um, except for this might even be worse, because instead of just, you know, uh, mass enslaving um, these animals, we're, you know, killing them and making them suffer, boiling them alive, grinding them up in a blender, um, you know, raping them, taking their baby. We're doing all of this shit on top of enslaving them. And I'm not saying none of that happened to African Americans, but this happens on a, you know, much larger scale.